Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I made that sweet cloud in the background, but users told me that they no longer could get to the tools that I was using. I came up with a way so you can still get to play with it, so let's get cracking. So friends, the video I created last week was pretty sweet. It showed you that you could move down and use your shape generators. What I found out though, is if you did not have your account or use that feature before 2018 or something like that, you don't have access to it. I tested it by going to a brand new account that I created. If I hit create new design, you'll see down here, I can go to shapes collection, but there is nothing below it. So I was like, how can I get people to still have these cool SVG shapes that I just created? And that's where I came up with this technique. I created using HL Mod Tech, where it has the ability, what I call SVG Shapes, HL Mod Tech. I'm gonna click on its properties, and I wanna make it public. So it was private, and then I'm gonna name it SVG Shapes, and I'll do the HL and I'll do the Mod Tech. So if you're ever searching for it, that's how you can find it. And when I close this, now that is a public design and if i go to my other account simply click on search and type svg shapes and hl mod tech and the design should show up when you do find it you can open it and you can copy and tinker if you want to make it easier for other people to find do make sure you hit that like button so that it shows up higher in the search rankings and then boom you can click on it and you will have access to the shapes that i have already created there's a sweet cloud and there's also this rectangular shape that has fewer nodes so it may be easier to make the custom shape that you desire so friends, I'm gonna show you how you can use these in any of your other projects. Real quickly, I'm gonna just bring out a box, I'm gonna stretch it, whatever. But if I wanna add these other parts, I just switch tabs. Notice I had two tabs. If I do Control C on the part I want, move to the next one and do Control V, all of a sudden I can paste that shape in to my other project. So you don't get to add these the way I did, but you still get the ability to have an adjustable SVG cloud and any other cool shapes I add to the projects in the future. Friends, real quickly, just a reminder, you do always have access to the featured extrusion. And I love this little guy. He is wicked cool, but he only had the four handles. The whole reason I'm making this SVG project is I wanted access to more handles on my shapes. And now you guys will be able to have them too. Friends, if you've got any ideas for other shapes that you'd like me to make the SVGs of, add those in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.